Hi, welcome to SAP MM training class. Today we are going to discuss about outline agreements. Outline agreements under this subject matters. We are going to cover the topics are part one, a common subject about outline purchasing agreements. We are going to discuss commonly about contracts as well as including scheduling agreements together and afterwards separately for contracts in part 2 we are going to cover those are distributed contracts centrally agreed contracts quantity base basis contracts value basic basis contracts and creating manually and also creating using references and in part 3 we are going to see scheduling agreements in that procuring procurement types uh, scheduling agreement creating with LP type that is without releasing agreement documents creating scheduling agreement with LPA type with releasing agreement document and defining firm uh, trade off and planning zones uh, uh, scheduling agreements, developing scheduling agreements by MRP, MRP, uh, scheduling agreement releases in forecast or JIT delivery schedules, creation of profiles, accumulating scheduling agreements, administration of scheduling agreements and in part 4 we are going to cover customization part, customization of contracts and scheduling agreements. In that number ranges, regarding the number ranges, document types, screen layouts and text and text copying rules and releasing procedures, contents of this outline purchase agreement. Now we will familiar about the outline purchase agreement. An outline purchase agreement is a long term agreement between a purchase organization and a vendor. Now in this outline purchase agreements we will see about the structure how it will be and text and creating by copying or referencing how we are going to copy create copy and uh, by using reference or and also change, changing, cancelling, blocking, displaying changes, displaying header statistics and displaying item statistics data and analyzing. Outline agreement also we are going to discuss in this. Now let us go and see the structure. We follow the menu path from logistics, materials management, purchasing. In this purchasing only you can see here folder outline agreements. In this folder, outline agreements generally they are contract and scheduling agreements. Outline agreements are one is contract, another one is scheduling agreement. So now what is contract? If we wanted to discuss about the outline agreement, we must uh, see contract or the scheduling agreement. They are both are similar but little bit uh, small changes is the scheduling agreements is used for minimum small quantity of inventories so uh, the same contract is there but in that uh, also the delivery delivery agreements also included in this the above contract uh, is only purchasing the quantity material at, uh, name, uh, type of materials, materials and duration these are all included in this uh, whereas uh, uh, in the scheduling agreements delivery schedules when I am going to give it how I am going to give it that is uh, uh, also included in this scheduling agreements so they are similar but additional function is there for schedule lines, scheduling agreements in this so now to understand about the outline agreement 
we will go and see the contract one we can see here this scheduling agreement is divided into two parts one is header this is all about the header and another one is item you can see here header detail and item detail this is a initial screen once you have entered it will go we will go inside and we will see the header uh, data and after that we can see the item data so now so in this screen we are seeing there are so many fields key fields are there which key field is a uh, important mandatory fields we will watch so the vendor contract means actually is a legal agreement binding agreement between the vendor buyer and the supplier so here supplier is the vendor and buyer is the purchase organization so purchase organization these fields must be uh, mandatory fields this one is also must be mandatory field and here type of the agreement is also should be mandatory so we can vary this type but different different one but you know these fields are mandatory and the date on which we are going to make the agreement is also mandatory that means these 3 plus 2 uh, five fields are the mandatory fields let me take year 1000 and the type of agreement what we are going to make let's consider a value contract here there are uh, generally four types of agreements will be there centrally agreed and uh, here it is not there but centrally agreed contract also will be there and distributed contract and quantity uh, contract and value contract so these are the standard uh, contracts will be there now let us see the value contract if we have understood one we can do another one also it's not a big issue but concept we have to understand in this value contract means what actually value is a, we will give it and quantity we are not being giving the importance where in quantity contract means quantity is important value is not there any value it can become but we are going to do certain quantity that that is the meaning of that let us see first value one later we can understand the quantity also so vendor i am going to take is 1000 agreement date today we are making the uh, agreement uh, outline agreement uh, that is contract and number assignment this is a number agreement number it's going to be given here so he, the number is internally assigned one how we wanted to customize we can do it if we wanted to make it external also we can define it but here it is assigned uh, an internal number the system is going to give it for example if you wanted you can give one value and enter is not going to take is giving an error so and the purchase organization purchase organization is the one which is going to take the material so which purchase organization is going to take the material or services we are going to give it here and purchase organization will have purchasing groups for responsible people here there are two fields we were discussed like we are going to create a create a, with a reference means it can be referenced with the purchase requisition or it can be referenced from the uh, request for quotation from that also we give and about this create uh, contract this contract or outline agreements mainly constituting of with the two types of tables one is header table another one is item table the structure is constituting of these two mainly so if we enter we will go to directly to header one or we can click it here we can go directly to header so if we enter it now we can go to so since it is a target value you see here a box is there the value is is a mandatory one and it is a contract contract period we are going to make for certain period so that contract duration valid starts from here valid ends from here it has to be 
and today the value is started actually it has taken from the same agreement date as a valid validity start period and validity ending period it is asking so here the language is there so let me change the language and validity end period let me give it one week and here so i have given it if we don't want today only has to start and the contract should be valid for certain period in future period we can give it according to that future period one that is the thing so after that next terms and conditions and payment related informations here you see payment terms if you can decide the payment terms discounts or um, rebates or anything uh, we wanted in co terms you can also is xw means we have to get from his place means he is going to from from plant his own plant means cod means everything included he is going to supply to our plant so xw means we have to get from him so there are these are all the terms and conditions in co terms is in let me keep this let us uh, imagine a value we are going to buy from him is 1000 and in in this 1000 euro what are the items we are going to buy and how many quantity we are going to buy that is going to be given in the next screen the item over is this is all the terms about the header level means for all the items it is common so now going to item level here the item 10 20 the fifth frequency of the items so now here this item number and i is i is type of procurement is here is a uh, the what type of procurement is it a standard or consignment material known or material group Uh, services are we buying services so this uh, type of uh, materials the in this means if material is known we can keep it material known material unknown we can keep this material unknown then uh, material unknown we need not give the that time we need not give the material master record we can text that one give remaining data and save it like that also we can do it now if we know the material not necessary these to fill because material master has all the assignments material master like services doesn't have but material master it has a number means definitely it, it has the its own account groups attached already to that so that's why these are all not necessary so this one is account assignment category here which account assignment category we can say is it asset cost center uh, is it unknown material or what is this one we can use this one as like in purchase order whatever it is the same thing here now let me take the material here i will take this material and uh, target quantity i am not going to give it because i have given the value in that one 1000 euros i am going to buy all of them let me give the price as a uh, 10 euro so per one piece it is the price we are going to give it here one piece so this is the for one piece price we are going to decide it and target quantity we are not giving it now on this any conditions we wanted to keep it we can go to the conditions you see already price is decided but we wanted to put a scale value means if quantity is taken more below uh, 100 pieces is 10 euro but after 100 pieces maybe 8 euro price you wanted to keep it 